Today we're going to review the latest from Alex Thomas and Bushmills, Bushmills 12 Year. Welcome to Four Leaf Whiskey. Today I wanted to pick one that you probably have started seeing on shelves in the U.S. This is the latest to the Bushmills lineup. This is Bushmills 12 Year. This is a single malt Irish whiskey done by Bushmills up in County Antrim. Bushmills is the oldest licensed distillery in Ireland. They got their license in 1608. They actually did not start distilling until more than 100 years later, but it's still considered the oldest distillery in Ireland, depending on who you ask. This one is aged 11 years in ex-bourbon and ex-oloroso sherry casks, and then it was finished six to nine months in Marsala casks. This one is 40% ABV. This one retails for about 50, 60 bucks. I think I might've paid maybe 64 for it here in Ohio, but you're gonna start seeing it around the US. This one is triple distilled. Um, from what information I could find, I believe it is natural color, which it's a lovely dark gold color. The nose on this one, the first thing I'm getting is that is that sherry. Um, a lot of fig notes. There's kind of a honey almond. I'm getting some cherry, but like some dried cherry. The cereal maltiness is coming through a little bit. I'm getting some apple. Slancha. This one is really rich. I hate to use the word creamy, but the mouthfeel is really creamy. First thing I'm getting is kind of like a honey, honey almond. Or almost like a honey nut Cheerio cereal because you're getting those multi notes coming through as well. After that, I'm getting a little bit of, of the fig and the apple, but more like um, kind of like a baked apple on this one. Um, the honeyed sweetness definitely is the first thing that you're struck with at the, at the front. Not drying at all. Pretty decent long finish on this one too. It's not super long, but it's definitely not a short finish on this one. It's not smoky in any way, but there's a richness to it that I think is missing on the 10 year. Okay, so I like to do a little bit of a comparison. So I reached for the Bushmills 10 year. This one is aged all 10 years in ex Larissa Sherry, ex Bourbon Cast. There's no further finishing on top of that. These are both 40% ABV. This one retails for, I believe I paid 44, 45 bucks for this one. So right away on the color, you can definitely tell the difference. This one is much, much lighter in color. The nose is also quite different. Give this a little swirl, open her up since I just poured it. Yeah, I'm still getting a lot of honey on the nose. Um, I'm getting the sherry way more on the 12 than I am on the 10. The 10 is more honey, um, definitely still has that almond note that's coming from the Oloroso sherry. But I'm also getting a milk chocolate. Whole lot of milk chocolate on the palate. Honey, almond, milk chocolate. I mean, this is, this is kind of like a candy bar. I'm getting actually a little apricot. More of a, I'm, I'm getting some apple on this, more, more like a fresh red apple. Um, or like a gala apple. Uh, it's not quite as sweet on the apple note, but you're it's still getting a lot of fruit, a lot of apricot, a lot of honey, whole lot of chocolate. So let's go back to the 12 year. Still getting the fig, more of like the baked apple. There's just a deeper, richer, sugary apple note. I'm still getting some honey and almond, but honestly, it's it's way more on the 12 year when you're comparing them, or the 10 year when you're comparing them side by side with the 12. The 10 year, I'm sorry, I get that honey almond a little more than the 12. On the 12 year, that baked apple, and I'm starting to get that like a dried cherry note. The other thing that I think is different, I'm getting vanilla a lot on the 10 year. On the 12, it's more of a richer vanilla, like a vanilla bean, as opposed to like a vanilla extract. Um, and it's just, I think everything about the 12 year is just, it's kind of just beefed up in the richness as opposed to when you step away from the 10 to the 12. Um, this definitely has more complexity than the 10 year does. It's got a longer finish than the 10 year does. Um, so for that, you know, extra 15, 20 bucks, you're, you're getting a little more complexity, a little bit longer finish, but it's just a different total, 
flavor profile as well. Um, and, and that is the sherry influence, the more solid influence versus just mostly bourbon. So final thoughts on Bushmills 12. I applaud Alex Thomas, Colm Egan. This is a brilliant addition to the Bushmills lineup. Um, this is a core item. You're gonna start seeing this in their lineup from moving forward. I think the Bushmills 12 year is a perfect addition to the Bushmills core lineup. You've got the 10 year that is matured in the ex bourbon and the ex Oloroso sherry casks that is more bourbon forward. You've got the 16 year that is matured in the ex Oloroso sherry, ex bourbon, and then finished in port. This is a perfect transition between those two. Um, this is in a lot of states right now. I think you're going to see it on the shelf. It's or honestly, it's a reasonable purchase for a 12 year age state of whiskey. This one, I think I paid 64. I think it's ranging around 60, 65 dollars, probably in most states. You're probably going to be able to find it some places, maybe even for a little less than that, which honestly, I think is is a bargain for a for a whiskey of this caliber, for a whiskey of this age. So the only negative I have about this Bushmills 12 year, it's another 40% ABV whiskey. Now, it has been proofed down with water coming from a tributary of the River Bush, which is where Bushmills gets all of their water. Um, this is St. Columns Real. That being said, uh, I think once you step away from the budget level of Irish whiskey, we're willing to pay this for money, you know, higher level money for good Irish whiskey. We don't need to see 40% anymore. So I implore you, big distillers, please step away from that. Um, there's too many smaller distillers that are willing to give us higher ABVs. That is literally the only um, probably negative that I have with this one. Um, I wish it was a little bit higher ABV. That being said, honestly, at this price point, it, it's a great it's a great whiskey. So if you're a fan of single malt Irish, of uh, the more heavy sherry fortified wine finishes, this is a good one to check out. Slancha.